best of seven here between Ducks Gaming and Caps Gaming here. Ducks Gaming on the bottom of your screen in their home white jerseys and Caps Gaming on the top in their home dark jerseys. Magic takes it in. Tennessee gains the line, but puck goes loose. Magic will have it and with some space to gain the line for his own team. Pass over, he scores! Just like that on the transition. Fog, the recipient, a beautiful pass from Magic. Ducks Gaming go up 1-0. Picking up where they left off in that opening round. Fog's ninth goal at this stage of the playoffs in just six games, and what a pass that was. Picture perfect. To that far side post, not much vein could really do there, and a great start for the Ducks to really make a statement. And indeed, Sin kind of out of nowhere, you know, just finding that space on the rush. One slight mistake from anybody, and these teams are going to make you pay for it. Controlling the play, his composure with the puck. He's been outrageous. Big save by the wall right there. Off the transition one-timer. Cad took a whack at it, but the glove of the wall kept it out. Still nursing that slim one-goal lead here as we get towards the end of the second period. Bluen has to be careful. He pokes it away from himself. Cad in. Can't get the shot away, but he still has possession. 30 seconds remaining. Pass over. They score. Boom. In front of the net, taps that one home. And just like that, a single mistake in the neutral zone leads to a goal tie game here. Led his team in goals in the regular season, posts up in front and buries it. Caps Gaming tie this late in the second period. Just a little bit too much space there allowed by the Ducks in front. Something they had done a very good job of not doing, but said, like we said, one mistake and you will pay for it, case in point. They send that pass and simply put, there's just too much space. Absolutely here, Ducks Gaming looking to try to get things back, an errant pass right there, and Cad will have it. Cad rushing in, and he scores on the breakaway! Cad may have sneaked that one, five-hole, just like that, yet another mistake in Caps Gaming, right there to capitalize. Lightning fast, 117 into the period. We get one more look at this. The space and the one-handed backhand shovel somehow finds a way to beat Wall as he was moving. And who needs beauty backhand to score a backhand like that? Caps Gaming have flipped this game on its head. Down by one and now up by a goal themselves. Maybe a missed opportunity for Ducks Gaming. Caps Gaming have it looking for the one-timer there. Disrupted. And that could have been deadly on the side of Cad. Goes again the line, Magic with some space, Magic on the forehand, he ties the game. Just like that, through the neutral zone, a quick pass, a little bit of space, and Magic makes no mistake, we are tied once again. And there it is, and that quick little breakthrough, and that's all they need is that tiny bit of space. Captain makes it happen on that goal, and again, he has been leading the way for this club in the playoffs. I mean, he and Fogg both have been great. But Anaheim Ducks, right when you think maybe this game's slipping away from them, they get right back in it with a quick goal. Eight minutes to play in regulation. Caps Gaming get that one out and send it all the way down. Just one minute remaining in this five-minute major for Ducks Gaming. Pass doesn't go, but Magic may have it. Magic scores! Perhaps not how they drew it up, but they will take it. A quick strike right there at the tail end of the five-minute major, and Magic has the game winner. Uh, magic from Magic to find a way to end this first game of this best of seven. We'll see what happens here as puck drop. We get underway once again. Ducks still in their road whites and Cats gaming top of your screen. In their own dark jersey with an early offside here just 30 seconds into the game. So we'll have to slow things down as he didn't quite have a shooting lane. Cad back up top, bouncing puck, Boosh with it. Boosh with the shot low, looking for a rebound, but it kicks off a leg. Pass up from the Magic. Magic on the breakaway, Magic scores! Lurking high in the neutral zone, completely undetected. The stretch pass opens things up, and Magic once again with a huge goal for Ducks Gaming. Picking up where he left off the overtime winner in the prior game, his third of the series. As Vane left just a little bit too much space after his defense certainly did the same. Huge, huge goal there. 
to give the Ducks a 1-0 lead for the second game in a row. Poked in or swept in to hold off. So tough break for the Ducks. Another power play opportunity here for Caps game. They start to work this one around. Cad with it down low and Poles gets it home. Looked like the initial pass went to Boosh. It found its way all the way over and that's like that. They have tied this one up at one. We'll get another look at it. Appeared to be off the post and in from a pretty sharp angle there for Pogues. And, you know, Sim, we talked about it that first power play. He was really kind of the setup man. Proves to be the main man there on that. I mean, granted, two players were there towards the front of the goal to try to sweep that one home. No mistake for Caps Gaming on that power play chance. And similar to game one, they tied this game up in the second period. Always finding himself in tremendous position. He's the one with the puck now, sending over to his defensive partner. They gain the line up to Skillsy. Over and big save by Vane off the one-timer. He gets bumped. Pogues has the puck and is able to clear that one out. Cad with a little bit of space. Beautiful poke by Blue in. Keeps him wide. He's sent down low. Boosh now. Picks it back up top. Desi settles it down. Looking low shot to score! Deflection near the left circle. A huge goal. And just like that, Caps Gaming, two quick ones. They have taken the lead, two to one. Bush finally gets his goal there. And indeed, what a tremendous deflection. Back skating towards the slot and still able to get a piece of that one. Unstoppable at that point for the wall. And a 2-1 lead, Sin, we are seeing this play out exactly as game one did. We'll hope, of course, that that trend stops at a certain point, but 2-1 for Caps game. Let me just start ripping that one on. Gotta be careful here, Cad picks it off. Cad with some space on the breakaway. Forehand hits the side of the net, the wall. Stuck with him the whole way in. And... and guards the puck, sent down low and that big body of Boosh keeping these alive off the post through the legs of the wall and off the inside of the post and out. And off. Ten seconds left. One more rush here for Ducks Gaming. Goalie still between the pipes. Up to Skillsy now. Skillsy loses it. Cad has it. Three seconds left. He just chips it out. And that will do it. Game two going to Caps Gaming. No overtime needed in this one. It got close at time, but... Caps Gaming definitely played like the better team and got rewarded with the win here. And we'll get things underway. Puck drop here. Game three. Ducks Gaming now sporting their road dark jerseys. The beautiful throwback kind of purple and teal. Caps Gaming in their road whites. Looking maybe to hit Boosh right there, but the pass didn't connect. Cad with a one-timer. Kicked aside by the wall, and that will do it for the first period. A lot of back and forth action right there, but neither team able to break through. Here comes Cad, gains the line, stop and go. Gets it past Blue in, looking to the middle. What a save by the wall! The pass to Boosh made it through. The wall stuck with him the entire way. Blue in now sends it over to Fogg, who does gain the line, trying to get possession back, bodied once again. Skillsy has it now. Looking for maybe a pass to the middle there. It wasn't there. Lost possession, but kept in. Magic over and a big shot off the one time. Fog the short side pass from behind the net. He capitalizes asking you shall receive. Ducks get the go ahead goal. They finally have that breakthrough. Fog second of the series. That space on the short side. Just a little bit too much room given up. And indeed the Ducks strike first. Just what the doctor ordered. I'm slowly ticking away, Sin, already halfway through this period for the Caps. Let's see if they can make something happen off this offensive zone draw. The tie-up pulls out and backhand scores! Just like that, a scrum off of the face off the puck. It's knocked you loose right to Polks, and he responds in kind right there, unassisted on the backhand. He beats the wall. It's what they needed to finally get a puck past him, and he played that so well, too. Very, very unlucky to not just absolutely rob Pogues on the goal line. The Pogues does find the back of the net. A lucky bounce to get him there, but he makes no mistake. And again, just can't help but feel hard-pressed. I, I thought Wall covered that very well, but we are tied at one. 
Magic turns back. Magic hits the centerman, Skillsy. That puck goes wide of the far side. Not a bad play right there in tight. And here come Caps Gaming on the uh, counter attack. Magic, nice back check. Works that one away. We approach the one minute mark. Nice slap pass up. Blue in. Over to Skillsy. Skillsy! He scores! Huge counter attack from Ducks Gaming. Off the back of that huge slap pass down. A quick pass from the defenseman. Blue in. And Skillsy gets the go ahead goal. Less than a minute remaining. Very similar goal, Sin, to what kicked off this series for the Ducks back in game one. That pass to the far side post. It works out, but still 56 seconds to go to try and seal the deal on this game. That's a lot of time for the Caps. 15 ticks left on the clock. Back up top, Geimer blocked. Lewin trying to get that puck. Can he clear it? No, he can't. Bush has it now. Trying to go down low. Cad with the puck. Cad shoots it, and he scores! 2.2 seconds remaining. Just snipes it on the wall. We are tied here and seemingly destined for another overtime. What a shot by Cad. What a time to do it, and we are all tied up. I don't know if you'll see a more clutch shot than that, Sin. We are tied at two apiece again, Wall look to have it but there's only so much you can do when a shot is essentially perfect and indeed it was for cad gives his team the chance to win it high up there magic can't quite get to it but it'll be held in by parody has that one stripped away gets knocked down Polds with the puck now holds one-on-one -on -one with blue and Polds with the shot what a glove save by the wall again the far side may have been there, but what also there, the glove of the wall, and it has been sharp all night. Sharp's a great way to put it. Big saves for both goalies here to kick off this overtime. Defensive zone draw, one this time. Geimer's shot, looks like it hit Paradis right there, and kicks wide, pass out front, and Pogues! It goes to him, and he puts it home! What a turnaround for Caps Gaming! 2.2 seconds left, they tie it, and in overtime, Pogues gets the game winner. What a turnaround, and that could indeed be the turning point in this series as Caps Gaming snag a two games to one lead. Now the question is game four, because a 3-1 deficit against Caps Gaming feels like it would just be a little bit too deep of a hole to dig yourselves out of. And I mean, in how close this series has been, I don't think there's been a multi-goal lead for either team so far. I mean, just back and forth action throughout the course of this, and Caps Gaming in on the attack down low. Pogues up top to Cad, and nice shot. Pogues on the backhand, just like that. Picking up where they left off, and once again, not the start that Ducks game would want, but picture perfect from Caps Gaming, an early 1-0 lead. Exactly what they needed to really put the pressure on the Ducks, even more so finding ways at the end of that last game, and now at the start of this one, getting to the slot, posting up in front, and making the opposition pay. Things go from bad to worse for Anaheim. And the win will work it out to Magic. It's Fog. Fog with space. Fog off the post, I believe. And that one's so, so close. Offensive zone draw. Aggressive set down low now. A backhand turned aside by Vane. Fog, another shot short side. Turned aside once again. Vane having some big saves of his own in this one to maintain that one goal lead for his team. For Fog cleared out, and that will do it for the man. Advantage as Timer comes back out of the box. Nice pass up to Skillsy with some space. Skillsy on the forehand, he scores. Won't be denied, that one's not getting called back. Ducks Gaming, find the time and space, and Skillsy in one-on-one -on -one with Vane, and he scores the tie-in. And that's what we were talking about, Sin. Get some hope, make the most of the opportunity that was called off, keep that good momentum going, and the Ducks do just that, they tie it up, under eight minutes to go in the period. And then we always say next goal is important, but now especially the Ducks, momentum on their side. Let's see what they can do. The wall shuts the door, down low. Boosh now up top to Cad, but picked off, and here come Ducks Gaming. Area sauce just out of the reach of Magic, but he does get it. Magic over to Skillsy! 2.5 left in the second. 
That's why you don't give up on a play. Magic battles through all the odds, picks it up, feeds Skillsy in the middle, and Ducks game with a huge late goal of their own. Live by the late goal, die by the late goal. Not quite the third period, of course, but a huge way to end the second period for Anaheim Ducks Gaming. They were trailing. They'll carry a 2-1 lead into the third period, I believe, for the first time. And what a performance by Skillsy in this one so far. Nice pass to Pogues now. Gains the line. Bushin all alone. What a save by the wall. These two goalies have been stellar in this series. Pass back across. In this one, they could kill even more time, but a good tie-up once again. Polks has it. Geimer now. 15 seconds remaining on the clock. Desi gains the line. Boosh has it. Cad to Boosh. Boosh on the backhand! Another late goal! Unbelievable! Caps Gaming refusing to quit at any point. They get another late tying goal. Boosh this time. And my goodness, they got to feel a little bit vindicated right now in this series. <laughs> well, back and forth. We might have been thinking it. Polgs directly called it out in chat with one word. Karma. Ten seconds to go. Another late tying goal for Caps Gaming. Parody over to Magic now for Ducks Gaming. Magic stop and go. Skillsy on the wraparound in vain. Gets back in time. Good look. Magic can't quite pick it up, and here comes Pogues. One-on-one -on -one situation has some help coming. Pogues with the spin, can pass it off. Pogues now down low, backhand and kicked aside by the wall. Cad in response. And we are at the two minute of real time here in overtime. Number one, Cad bumped off the puck, but Bluen has some trouble. Pogues down low. Pogues now sent over to Cad, and it hits the side of the net. Didn't get all the shot. The rebound. They follow up. They score. It wasn't even Bush, it was Cad. He sent the pass through it, pinballs around into the back of the net. Caps Gaming have done it. A 3-1 stranglehold over Ducks Gaming. Another late time goal leads to another overtime victory. Uh, just a matter of trying to get some momentum on your side and, uh, you know, uh, taking a, perhaps a different approach to trying to close out a game as they've been unable to hold the lead. And this pass from Geimer here will lead Ducks Gaming back in on the attack. Shot from Fogg deflected aside. Geimer collects it once more. Gains the line here, just powering his way through, gets through everyone, has it behind the net, wrap around, goal! Geimer, a singular effort right there, power skates his way through, behind the net, wrap around, unassisted, Caps Gaming, go up 1-0. We know Geimer has the ability to step up and make things happen. Wall gets caught, I mean, it's a tough play to read. Defense has to help him out a little bit more. Caps Gaming take the lead here in game number five. By the wall on that opportunity. Nice little give and go passing play. But the wall up to the challenge. Blue in with the puck once again. Leads the rush, gains the line. Has it across, they score! Fog off the pass from Blue in. Ducks respond in kind. A huge goal to tie things up here in the first. That is certainly a much needed goal for the Ducks. You see there the work in from uh, the opportunity there. Just get it for Fog. Over across the far side there. Blue End stepping up into the play yet again, helping to make things happen like we said that he could. Again, 13. He was a point per game in the regular season. He certainly has the offensive touch, and it worked out there very well. Fogg get another goal in the series. So, uh, Boosh in particular has had quite a few chances throughout this series on those up the middle passes. Hammers bumped off the puck, but the four check coming in from Caddy kicks it loose. Bogues with the back end. He scores! Another go ahead Pogues down low has been an absolute lethality for Caps Gaming it's another huge goal great job by Cad and I'm not exactly sure why he didn't get the assist on that but definitely should have it looked like he kicked it out to Pogues nonetheless huge goal might that be it Caps Gaming in a situation that they haven't been in for the past couple of games this time they are the ones that need to hold a lead for the final few minutes 41 seconds remaining here. Series on the line for Ducks Gaming. Skillsy trips over his own man. Polk's two on one with Boosh. Polk's over to Boosh. And they score! That should do it! Boosh delays slightly.
tightly and Wall has to kind of go back over the left hand side. Huge goal for Caps Gaming and that might just wrap things up. What a time to get the first multi-goal lead in the series. The patience on display there by Boosh. That is A plus quality from the Caps Gaming centerman to seal the deal. Barring a gigantic comeback, 3-1 the score in 30 seconds left. I'm just kind of wondering about why Ducks Gaming are uh, seemingly throwing in the towel in that situation. I, I don't get it either. I mean, again, maybe for a bit of fun at the end of it, but I, I don't feel like the series is over. You score an empty netter, you can score another quick one, uh, but now without your captain on the ice, I, I agree. I, I kind of view it as throwing in the towel. And I think they'll regret it if you get a late one there with 17 seconds to go. My goodness, a pass across and a bounce in. That was blue in right there. And uh, it's it's down to it. And I yeah, the pause coming out. We're going to see a timeout being called now. They have the zone as well. Paradis now with the puck. They're looking for one shot. Down low. Oh, and <laughs> sticked away. Gotten off the ice and... That will do it. Boosh with the puck will kill the rest of the clock off. Caps Gaming hold on to win this game by a score of 3-2 to two and take the series in five, four games to one. What a performance from them and those late tying goals turned out to be the difference here.